Alrighty, yo, what is going on for your boy, Mr. DDG94, back with another reaction video. Today we're going to react to Family Matters, hilarious scenes, most hilarious scenes in Family Matters. They got their own YouTube channel, they be making their own compilations and all that, so shout out to Family Matters. We're going to be going through some Urkel and all of them. Without further ado, let's get right into it. You know, Harriet, I've hey, been yo. waiting around in this get up for a whole month hey, yo. And I haven't attacked hey, yo, one single seeds ball. <laughs> to tell you the truth, Carl, I'm not surprised. What's that supposed to mean? Well, isn't the object of this to look as much as possible like a woman? Well, of course. There might be a small problem with your mustache. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. The police chief's wife has a bigger mustache than me. <laughs> I don't know, apparently this guy is hot for hair. <laughs> Something else must be wrong. There is. Carl, you don't walk like a woman. You walk like a linebacker. Oh, well, I suppose that you know how to walk like a woman? D really, nigga? Really? I've had really, a few years experience. Watch me, Chris. Mm -hmm. See, a woman is daintier, more feminine. She glides. Hey, you are good. I know. Now let me try. Okay. Okay. Slow. Left to right. Left to right. Are we cooking with grease now, baby? Yeah. <laughs> Sweetheart, I don't know if I'll catch a mugger, but I sure needed a good laugh this morning. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hey. Yeah. Girls can't resist me, man. But hey, don't worry. When I get bored with Laura, you can have her back. I gotta admit, you know, it, it does happen. <laughs> Fine, Wallace. Take a shot at Laura. But actually, it's quite brave of you, considering the risk involved. Hey, hey wait, wait, wait a minute. What, what are you talking about? Laura's got the highly infectious mucus nasalosis inflammacus. <laughs> oh, my God. What is that? Well, it starts off with a little cough. <clears throat> <laughs> Then your nasal passages swell, and your nose and your throat slam shut tighter than a clam. Whoa, man. Yeah, and then if you sneeze, why, your entire head explodes like a cherry bomb in a cantaloupe. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, you know, you could be making this whole thing up. Good. <laughs> but if I'm not, the last two words you'll ever say will be, ah, chew. <laughs> takes a seven. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, poker face. It ain't no help, I damn scray. Then it takes a five, hair showing. Yellow takes a jack. 
No apparent help. Your bed, kid. <laughs> Bet! Betty wants a bowling. Oh. Uh, El Fodo. I make it. Cheers. I'm out. Call. Well, as Sir Edmund Hillary used to say, this is getting pretty steep. <laughs> oh, but what the heck I'm in. Last card. Down and dirty. Whoa, Nelly, I'll be for real. Holy smoke. Oh, I get everything I got. You don't scare me, kid. Yeah. I call. Too rich for my blood. What do you got? Three tens and two sevens. Ooh. Whoa. What's that again, big guy? A uh, crowded condo? A full house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, uh, I only have two pairs. I win! Wait. Two pairs of fives. Oh. I win. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is for, but alright. Whatever. Ah uh, yeah, this this I uh, yeah, this episode was this episode was a little I like this episode. <laughs> I like this episode because it touched on the topic. Rachel, I'm sorry. We just didn't get here in time to catch him in the act. Look at this. They sure left their calling card. The whole place is ruined. Oh, Carl, can't you arrest these guys? Yes, we can and we will. Good. But two hours later, the dragons will be right back out on the street. What? Why? Well, because every gangbanger will produce 10 people who will say they were someplace else when all of this happened. So these hoodlums can just do whatever they want and get away with it? Pretty well, I much. I would go that far. I would. Eddie! No, oh, Eddie! Eddie! this to you the dragons how did this happen well, i was walking home from my date and all of a sudden eight of them jumped out from behind a volkswagen minibus cowards they disgraced the word far for <laughs> honey are you okay does, does anything feel broken no uh, it hurts a little but only wimps give in to pain come on sweetie let me get you home and then i can put some antiseptic on those cuts mom that stuff stinks. <laughs> well, Laura, let's get this place cleaned up. How long do you think it'll take us? Well, if we start now and work through the night, about two years. <laughs> Okay. No, I'm not, Steve. I want revenge. But you can't. You're a cop. But I'm a father first. But, but wait, 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 I said wait. <laughs> what is it? Well, now you're upset and with good reason. But if you go out dragon bashing, they'll scream police brutality and you'll lose your job. Steve, are you saying that I should forget what they did to my son? No. I know a way we can get the dragons, and you can still keep your badge. What is it? Well, suppose we can get some hard evidence to prove that the dragons were responsible for this. That way, no one could lie to save them. Well, how do you suppose we get this hard evidence? 
Wire me, big guy. I'm going in. This is my favorite episode, too. But this is... But this is where I said this is where they should have started developing Steve's character, bro. His character needed development, bro. And it should have started right here when he joined the basketball team. Because once he joined the basketball team, it should have been, hey, Steve can hoop. Steve this. Steve the man. Then the next thing you know, the school starts warming up to Steve. Steve starts becoming more attractive to Laura because of his his newfound popularity within the school. He an athlete. Then his attitude starts changing a little bit. He stops wearing the suspenders. He stops hiking his pants all the way up to damn near his belly button. He starts dressing normal. He starts acting normal. He start, he gets rid of the glasses, and then he starts talking like him. He's, 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 he gets rid of the glasses, starts wearing contacts, and then he just starts talking normally. And that way you can rid the first, the first version of the Steve Urkel character to bring and usher in a better version of Steve Urkel instead of making Stefan, which was dumb. I, I still don't get why they did that. Oh, right. First thing tomorrow morning, check the bulletin board and find out if you're a muskrat. Uh, all right. Yeah. A couch? Couch? Ah, oh, the Dutchman. What's the matter? Did you break your mug? No, it's, it's just that no one would pass me the ball. And I mean, I'm really, really good. Look, kid, you're not a basketball player. Well, why not? In short, you're short. No. But you do have spunk. And that's one of the two main ingredients for a good equipment manager. Oh, and what's the other main ingredient? A high humiliation tolerance. <laughs> Listen up, men. Say hello to our new equipment manager. Dance. Emotional damage. Why do they keep doing this? All right, everyone. Coffee break is over. Can we take our places, please? Rachel, Rachel, uno momento, si vous plaît. Mm. Steve, what are you doing here? Well, I, I'd like to join the choir if it's okay with you, Rachel. Well, I suppose. Why don't you squeeze in there with the tenors? Oh, good. There you go. Hey. Hey, gangway, gangway, elbow round, elbow round, new guy, new guy. Okay, everyone, we'll start with Oh, Happy Day. Sounds like a hyena hoot nanny. Uh, Steve, perhaps I was a little hasty. Why don't you step forward and sing for me? Please? Oh, certainly. Charles. Oh, happy day! Oh, happy day! Steve! Oh, happy day! Steve! It's not a happy day, Steve. Honey, you're way off key. Let's see if a pitch pipe will help you, okay? Why don't you try this? Let's see. Okay, here we go. Mm. <laughs> Steve, you're not listening, honey. Listen to it now. Mm. Steve, listen to it. <laughs> Steve, we have a major problem here. Maybe you could come back when your voice has changed. It already did. <laughs> well, Steve, I'm sorry, but Gospel Sunday is very important, and I just can't let you be in the choir. Oh, Rachel, 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 Rachel. He just joined. Give him a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, but will everyone who is directing this choir please raise their baton? Well, that's Emotional damage! Your hymnal, please. 
always. Okay. Well, that's just gonna about do it for this one. I'm trying to switch it up. I'm trying to give y'all more than just Martin and Fresh Prince and everybody hates Chris. I'm trying to give y'all more variety, man. I've been on the, I've been on the, I've been on the search, man, finding as much as I can. So yeah, without further ado, that's just gonna about do it for this one. I'll see you all in the next video. Till then, peace out.